What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jazz. Welcome back to another Madden 25 franchise game. And today, we are going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. I said the Philadelphia Eagles. They are 8 and 3. Definitely a good team. We are heading on into this game with only one defeat so far this year. Hopefully, we can continue our winning streak. I mean, I'm a little curious to see, you know, uh, what this team has to offer since they got a good record of 8-3. and three. You know, um, I did uh, look at the depth chart before the game. I seen that they got RG3. They got, uh, I forgot. I don't know. We'll show it in the video. So, uh, to begin the game, right here we take a look at RG3 stats, man. Over 1,000 yards, 9 TDs, 4 interceptions. Not too bad. Definitely not too bad. Um, his first attempt really quickly over towards the right. <clears throat> right here, we take a look at their lineup. There's their offensive line. And then they have Santoni Holmes, Jamal Charles, Greg Jennings. So they definitely got themselves right there. Look at big old stanky Pat Willis coming through the A-gap. Oh, here's the Pat Willis scream. Where is it? This is that Pat Willis yelp. So we actually force a punt on their first offensive possession, which is, which is good. You know what I mean? Because... Uh, Stopping these teams on all Madden is not easy. Right here, we get Colin Kaepernick coming through. Close to 3,000 yards, 21 TDs, 16 interceptions. Yeah, I know. I throw a lot of passes to the other team. Those were all mistakes. The sun was in my eyes on those throws, man. Look at that blatant drop pass right here. As we go ahead and take a look at their defensive starters. They got that 3-4 going. They got Sean Lee. They got Perry. They have Patrick Peterson, Quentin Jammer. And they also got McCourty. Definitely a good defensive secondary. So, uh, our first possession, they hold us to three. It eh, could be better. could be better. But, you know, we'll take uh, a lead. You know what I mean? That's uh, something to build off of. Hopefully, maybe we can get ourselves another stop and be able to, uh, like I said, build on that lead. So, right there, they give the ball to Jamal Charles, who is a monster. He's definitely tough to stop with all that speed. You know what I mean? So, second and one, they decide to go back to Jamal Charles. And he ends up. Excuse me, picking up the first down. Right, he rolls to the right. And look at Elon. Bam! Somebody, please. It's a fumble. Let Jamal Charles know. Do not run full speed towards Elam. You will die. So right there, damn true step. We do a really quick pass to Gronk right there. Gets his, his first catch of the game. Right here, we run with DeMarco Murray. His first attempt of the game gets us a good nine yards. Uh, right here, we got ourselves a crucial third down. And bam, just like that, we get sacked instantaneously so we are forced to go ahead and settle for another field goal uh, two possessions man two uh opportunities to be able to get in the end zone and we failed each time and they can still take the lead with just one touchdown score man so that right there is definitely frustrating to feel like i let touchdowns go off of the board you know what i mean so uh but who knows man maybe our defense can continue coming through right here they try to screen on me and big old pat willis ain't having none of that third down and 15 right here RG3 goes over, turns to the left, and unfortunately for them, they are a couple yards shy of that first down. Look at these weenies going for a fake punt. Do you believe that? They went for a fake punt on me. What is, oh, that's the all Madden cheese right here. I'm just, just trying to run away, hoping, like it's the online rank match. I'm hoping that I get a, just um, a premature dive, and of course, it's not going to happen from the computer. So right here, we back up, and we get hit right as we're about to throw the pass, man, the computer comes through so quick right there was a bad pass by me thankfully they went for the swat not the int quick out route to my main man uh tavon austin right there second reception right we go through the play action we're looking they got some man to man we reroute gronk and uh unfortunately it was batted down so uh second down right here we go to another play action and then we go to gronk and i throw an interception i definitely had position uh towards the corner but instead of Positioning it towards the sideline, I should have went more towards like 11 o'clock and just threw a touch pass. Maybe I would throw it over his shoulder, man. Uh, you see Pat Willis with the um, the sack right there. Third down, they almost got that third and long on a run, but uh, we forced another punt right here. So right here, doink goes right off with Tavon Austin. I'm trying to get him to return the punt because he's explosive. Maybe I could get a great return, and unfortunately, it didn't happen. Right, we take a chance on running a screen to Gronkowski, and we get ourselves a couple yards. Just a little, just a little bit, not, not, not too much, just a little bit, enough to be able to get some breathing room. We pick up the first down right there. We go to Desertron. Right, we're looking, and we go over the middle. And, of course, you know, whenever we go over the middle, we're looking for big old Gronk. Right here, man, quick out route right there. 
And uh, we're doing good moving the ball right now. You know, I definitely want to get in field goal range. Even though I hated throwing, hated it, throwing field goals the first two possessions. Uh, a field goal right here would be big because that's a multiple possession lead. Right, we roll out, we're looking, and who do we go to? We go to the main men, Desertron, right over the middle. Puts us in field goal range where we go on ahead and we lace that easily. So now we go into halftime up 9-0. Our defense actually pitched a shutout. Our defense is playing very well. Look at this, negative 12 passing yards. Negative 12 passing yards for RG3. We are absolutely locking this man up. So right now we do get um, we do receive ball at halftime, and I'm just thinking to myself, man, let's get a touchdown. And I really feel confident that we could possibly put this game away with the touchdown. Our defense is playing amazing. You know, uh, our offense not so good, but with our defense playing this great, you know what I mean? It's going to be tough for us to go ahead and lose. Whoop! And we got Desert trying, and he could go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, as the comeback route actually turns into a TD. First play from scrimmage during the second half, and we actually get a touchdown. <coughs> Excuse me. That right there was huge. Definitely a big boost of momentum, man. Definitely made me feel like uh, it is possible for us to score a touchdown. So 16 to 0 at this point, man. Hopefully we can just go on ahead and continue doing what we're doing defensively. Dropped interception right there, of course. That happens way too often in this damn game, going up and all matter. Thankfully, that right there, he got that big Ronald McDonald feet. He doesn't keep his feet inbounds, and that allows us to go on ahead and get ourselves another stop. Oh, it's a move. They destroyed Tavon right there. I felt bad. That made me <laughs> get the hell out of here. Beating your chest like you did something good. Oh, man, we dropped the snag right there. And then next play, we drop another snag. I dropped like 17 interceptions, man. I, it's so frustrating dropping interceptions. The computer literally never drops interceptions. I've I've only seen them drop interceptions. I know I say literally, and then I go on ahead and uh, say uh, that I've seen them drop passes. But they almost literally never drop anything. You know what I mean? Now, I've probably seen them drop in all the games I've played on Madden, maybe two interceptions. Maybe. If, if uh, they go for the pick and they don't deflect it, if they straight up go for the interception, they're going to snag it. They don't drop anything. But you, on the other hand, you drop everything. It's like almost impossible for you to catch an interception. I dropped like seven alone this game. Right here, man, we run really quickly outside to DeMarco Murray. We get ourselves a group. He's a third, son. We get ourselves a really, really good game. Play action right here. We're looking. We're looking. Just get rid of the ball. Get rid of the ball. That right there was definitely the wrong baton. I wanted to throw the X, and um, I went ahead and completely just hit the wrong button. And, of course, we throw an interception, right? So now they have an opportunity to get things going. You know, uh, fourth quarter is approaching. So if they can go on ahead and score here, make it a one-possession game, they're back in this ballgame. You know what I mean? So hopefully we can prevent that, maybe hold them to a field goal. Third down. Oh, my goodness. Pat Woolis. Ooh. Ooh, kill him. Ooh. Pat Willis is such a monster, yo. So we do hold him to a field goal. That right there was big. We still retain a multiple possession lead, though. And that right there is always, always, always a good thing. Always, always a good thing when you can go on ahead and stop them. You know what I mean? So uh, right now, um, if we can just go on ahead, kill some clock, get ourselves in field goal range, definitely, uh, you know, be good for us. But more importantly, we just want to kill some clock. As we look, one TD, two interceptions, 240 yards. RG3 has four yards, man. Four yards. I thought Dez was going to be able to take this all the way. It looked like he was almost going to, but then uh, we get caught up. First and goal, we are in territory to go on ahead and uh, kick at minimum a field goal right here. We get sacked right there. We go to the play action. We're looking. Pressure's in my face again. Surprise, surprise, right? So we actually do end up kicking a field goal. But at this point, man, I feel confident this game is over. You know, we've, we've uh, pretty much... Stopped everything they wanted to do on offense, and uh, this these type of games don't happen too often. You know what I mean? It's uh, once every other 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 game. I'm actually able to have a really good defensive performance and shut a team down. And this is one of those games. You know what I mean? So you definitely gotta love just your defense coming through. Look at big old Sean Rogers getting a sack right there. He does right into coverage, and Elam is like, no, so you give it to me, baby. We finally get ourselves to pick, and Elam scampers on into the end zone, dude. And we actually score a defensive touchdown. Matt Elam had a hell of a game. He forced a fumble. He straight up clobbered Jamal Charles of uh, their second possession, I believe. Forced a fumble turnover. And then he gets a pick six. So 26-6 to six this game right now. You guys can tell this game is over. There's no way they're coming back. Just not enough time in the game 
uh, right here. They ran the ball, bring it down to the two-minute warning. Second down right here, RG3 throws over towards the right. Nice touch pass, but unfortunately, womp, womp, womp. Receiver couldn't stay in bounds. RG3 kind of throws a fadeaway off his back foot, giving uh, Willis an easy tackle. And they don't get the first down right there. And that right there um, should wrap it up. But then I throw an interception right there. Uh, cover two, the light blue ran all the way back to, to follow that streak. And that right there is definitely frustrating. You know what I mean? Because that was the only. That's what I like about this year's Madden. A light blue, if there's no other route going, if there's no other receiver on that side of the field, that light blue will follow you all the way down to the end zone on the streak. It's crazy. And I uh, definitely got caught. But. Uh, that right there is the end of the game, guys. We end up winning this game in beautiful fashion. Struggled offensively, but defensively we had an amazing game. So, uh, you know, shout out to the defense actually coming through, playing playing very, very well. So, that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, man, it is your boy, G your boy, your boy, or what did I say? My, your boy? <laughs> it's your boy, GS, man. Next week, we're going ahead and face another division rival in the St. Louis Rams. Like I was saying, man, I love each and every single one of y'all, man. You guys should already know this. It's your boys, yes, and I'm out. Peace.